Soul Tribe. What's my joy says, Healing 22. My name is Kalita Joy. Thank you for the like, share, and subscribes. I'm here to deliver a collective message. Today we're going to start off with Karmic Tales 2 by Beautiful Your Inner Chakras. I think I started watching her channel maybe a year ago. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. You here to drop off? Um, for what? For which one? UBS. No, UBS hasn't came yet. Okay. Can I get a um, receipt for this? Yes. I'll drop off a receipt. Yes. I'll get that going. Okay. Is that? Yeah. Well, you're surprised because all these left. Mm -hmm. Left what? Did they bring? Huh? Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. <laughs> I receive it. Okay. Thanks, okay. Lunch. All right, so Tribe, I'm sorry. So let's get into it. I don't, I don't want to try to make this video too long because you know, I don't know if you're watching me on TikTok or YouTube. By the way, if the video go past 10 minutes, look, I, I don't have the skills, the time, the energy, or the ability to be editing and this and that and the other. So go, please go over to um, YouTube. And watch the full video. That's it. That's what Joy with an I says 22. Joy says healing 22. All right. Karmic cycle is closing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit ancestors. You are guarded. Somebody, the situation is you are closing out some karmic cycles. The situation is that you are guarded from some past issues or a past person. Um, the people or the person you're dealing with is hanging on to dysfunctional situations. Girl, boy, bye. I don't know if I got time for that. Someone is seeking some type of external validation. That's This is why they may be hang. This is why spirit wants you to know this person or situation or people is hanging on to this functional situation because they need some type of external validation. And the person you are dealing with is a narcissist. Someone with who with Virgo or strong Virgo in their chart. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna start off with this. What what shadow energy that this narcissist need to heal? Why is this narcissist? Oh, this narcissist is is a victim. They like they have a victim mentality. The universe wants the best for you. Not the words. Change your perspective. So you're dealing with a narcissist who refuse to change their perspective, take accountability, or um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I had a brain fart. Or um, someone who this choose this has a victim uh, mentality. It's never them. It's always other people. Yeah, this person could be emotionally detached, or you. Are becoming emotionally detached, dis, dis, detach. Damn, I can't speak. Mm. Yeah, this narcissist don't want me to uh, speak this truth and tell y'all. So yeah, a karmic cycle is closing. You are guarded from past issues. Anything that trigger you or make you upset or remind you of any type of trauma that you've been fighting to get through or heal from. You are guarded from that. You're not dealing with narcissistic people or self selfish and self-centered people. Be your reason why, and you probably have been trying to work with these people, been patient with them, but the reason why they're not changing is because they are hanging on to dysfunctional situations or way of being or the surroundings. These these this person or indi individuals 
need external validation. They don't have, they, on the outside, they this big, cocky, bad girl, BBL, or big, dick energy, or, you know, they, on the outside, they be whatever, but on the inside, they really insecure, and they probably tend to listen to what other people have to say or care about other people's opinion. This person present themselves and want to be a leader, but really is not. Tell me more about karmic cycle is closing. Holy Spirit, what is the messages for the collective? Congratulations to uh, the collective for closing out these karmic cycles. Because, you know, nobody got time for that bullshit. Somebody's spying on you or going to send you a message. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, guarded from the past issue. This shit is lining up like a motherfucker. I swear. Yes, you cutting you cut you cutting off anything that triggers you or have hurted you from the past. You're tired of being emotionally available for these people. Um, you probably very guarded and emotionally detached right now, which you should well be because it's, you don't gave these people a, a, more than enough time and more than enough chances, but. These people do just enough for you to help or give your time or energy, but yet and still, they still hanging on to dysfunctional situations. Fuck that. And this is called it regarding love, y'all. <laughs> Damn, you see how that universe act? With hanging on to dysfunctional um, situations, we got the two of pinnacle. Somebody's still juggling. We have, I see, uh, wow. This person is still waiting and to, and, this is a weak ass motherfucker. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because we all been there once. Before all of our spiritual evolution or evolving, we all been, I don't care what nobody say. I think all evolve or all um, earth angels or spirit guys or, you know, prophetess or whatever you want to call it has been a karmic. And, you know, but the difference is that stars, energy, or earth angels, and whatever, chosen ones, they go through the hardest lessons, but they learn it, and they keep it fucking moving, and they also apply it. This person or individuals or situation you waiting on, still waiting on some goddamn external val validation. This person is really a coward. They weak. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, this person tried to have you trapped all up in your motherfucking head, playing victim as if it was your fault, and they don't recall nothing. They don't want to take no type of accountability for their actions. They get too pride to apologize. Nigga, 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 bye. Yeah. You close this karmic cycle. You ain't even defensive about this shit. You ain't... This person probably think you mad as hell. You don't... I mean, because you just like... It's whatever. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles, guarded from past issues, cutting motherfuckers off. Mm, someone's slowly but surely coming in to make you a new offer or whatever. Mm, I don't know how you feel about that. Yeah. Okay, somebody is growing. Somebody... Here's the thing. These people or this person or these mother bitches and hoes motherfuckers who you've been nothing but loving and giving to know what they done. They know they was juggling going back and trying to figure out if they love or hate you or they juggling you between you and a karmic relationship. They know, they know what the fuck is going on. But for some reason, this person or these individuals need some type of external validation. Like... As if they want you to come, um, you know, come and, uh, you know, uh, drop the burden or, you know, try to open up the conversation. And I see you, you haven't done all that in the past. You're tired of being the bigger person. You're tired of being the loving, okay, that's the past. Let me forgive you. And, and these motherfuckers are still dysfunctional and going back and forth on how they feel about you. So you drop that burden. Fuck them. They want to, it's like they need others approval. So they don't bad mouth you and talk so much shit playing victim or whatever. And, and they know if they come back around you or be with you, 
They got to figure out how to get some type of external validation. Yeah, somebody don't want something to end. This narcissist, no, um, you're no longer up in your head, but somebody, this person or individual don't want you to end this situation. Let's close this out. Let's close this out. Holy Spirit, what is the advice? How you want to close this out? What do you want me to let my collective know on how to deal with this shit? Because I feel that some of y'all do love them. Yeah, these people really want a new beginning. Yeah, you probably <laughs> you're probably dealing with a King of Cups, a Cancer Pisces, a Water Sign, or some people with strong water in their chart. Mm hmm. Spirit is saying that if you want things to change, a new beginning, stand your ground, but yet and still be loving and understanding. And Spirit is also saying that these people really want a new beginning with you, but they don't they don't like rejection. They know that they fear that you're not willing to work with them. And which collective, I believe that you are willing to move forward with these people, whatever. If they um let go of their dysfunctional um ways and situations, you will probably will work on them, but until then you hold them back. Nigga, what the fuck? Somebody probably dealing with a queen of pentacles in reverse, that's a wife. Or a mother figure that's a hater, a liar, or a cheater trying to put you in competition with somebody. Then left you out in a motherfucking cold. And then they might like to come in, rushing in and out, lying about their goddamn relationship. And giving false hope a new beginning. Don't nobody got time for that. We too old for that shit. What's the outcome? Yeah. This person is not going to try to come together. This person needs some type of approval from some type of group. Or friend group, yeah. You've been enlightened about this shit. You don't got time for that shit. You a leader. Yeah, set up your, keep your boundaries up. Motherfucker need to have a mind in their own. Need to take accountability. Quit playing victim. Quit being a narcissist. Because it's not getting you anywhere. Period. All right. Soul tribe, spirit said, keep your uh, keep your boundaries up. Oh, you might you hell, you got some offers coming, yeah. Stay in harmony mode, focus on your shit. The guys, angels are with you and protecting this situation until somebody change and take accountability. Do not fight and argue with this mother with this motherfucker. Do not be one of their options. And hell, don't don't you ain't waiting on nobody. Hell, people need to people need to um. Pick up their own cross. That's what I just heard. It ain't your responsibility to make them people understand or feel how you feel. Your actions alone. Love is an action word. Your actions alone show your love and your loyalty. These people are spoiled, entitled, and you probably gonna let this shit go away way too motherfucking long. But, hey, it don't matter. That was the past. Stand your, keep standing your ground today.